You've probably clicked on this, like, yeah, why do I love to run? And that is coming from a girl that has really never been a runner. I'm talking about failing the mile test in my public school. I even refused to do soccer as a child because it was outside in the cold and I hated to run. That was always a joke I had about myself is you'll never catch me running. Then one day, as an adult, I asked myself, why? Why did I put myself in such a box? Why couldn't I run? I could, I just didn't want to. But why was that? And then it occurred to me. And I said, screw it. I'm not defined at what I thought I was. To be honest, I think I was a bad runner because I had a PE teacher when I was a kid tell me that when I was young. So then forever, I was in that box of I'm not a runner. Oftentimes we get put into these boxes growing up or even just having life experiences and it kind of helps us identify ourselves more, which is helpful when you're young. You don't know how to identify yourself. But in reality, why isn't it us that define ourselves? Why do we let others? Why do we let past experiences define us? It honestly doesn't make sense. Why do we let others do it? So honestly, running was a challenge for me. It was to prove something wrong. Who says you can't learn how to run? What even defines a runner? Can you get good at it? Or is it genetic? I truly just didn't know. Simply, I just wanted to run because I was curious and wanted the answer for myself. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, how are we? Happy whatever day of the week it is for you. I am coming at you with a new video, one that's a little different, and I really wanted to dive into why did I pick up running two years ago? For those that have followed my channel, you have seen that I picked up running in the beginning of COVID. I couldn't lift weights, I couldn't go to a gym, so I figured, why not go for runs? I was near a beach and it had a boardwalk for miles. So I actually worked on improving my mileage. I learned how to run distance. I even learned how to sprint. To be honest, I didn't even know how to run outside. My throat always hurt when I'd run outside. And I really overcame all those obstacles. And now I love running. So I figured why not just kind of make a YouTube video on why I love to run in hopes that it inspires you because I think it was a great hobby and it was a saving grace during that really tough time. Now I love to run, especially just to get away from reality at times. I wanna just go for a run by myself. It's a healthy way for me to release stress. And of course I'm not doing it too much. Too much of anything would not be healthy. But I just kinda wanted to be open on why I really started running and, and why I love it. Honestly, it's crazy. At first my throat hurt. My feet got blisters. I needed to fix my stride. I needed proper running shoes. I was slow and I still am, okay? I'd get bored on my runs. I had a lot of side cramps and honestly, breathing was really difficult for me. And I had to learn to start over. And honestly, learning the proper basics when it comes to running is so helpful. And if you want one, that's a video for another time. Let me know. I'm more than happy to show you what I changed and what I learned during it. But honestly, I had no idea how little fixes, little improvements can make a world when it comes to running. So let's dive into a few reasons on why I love to run and why I've kept it as a form of training for these past years. And do I do it every day still? No. Honestly, it's more of a season for me. When I lived in New York, I didn't really run, but now I live in a suburb that I have the space to run. So it's really a season and a time. Of course, I do love running at the gym, but, but there's nothing that makes me happier than running outside. To each their own, I just love being outside always and putting on a banger playlist when I go for a run. So the first thing is it keeps your mind sharp. What I really mean by this is in general, cardiovascular exercise can create new brain cells and improve overall brain performance. I know that is general cardiovascular. It's not just running, but honestly, long term, think about it. You're doing your brain justice. Next up, it's good for your joints. And a lot of people do think that running itself can accelerate natural wear and tear on your body, but there's also medical research that shows that it's preventative when it comes to arthritis. Like I said, there's a lot of pros and cons and I'm not disagreeing. It doesn't possibly accelerate wear and tear on your body, but I will say, there's some medical research that prevents against arthritis. 
And that is all I will say. Next up, it's very cost effective. You can run anywhere. That's one of my favorite things is I travel a lot. You guys have seen my lifestyle. I am always on the go. So I can get outside depending on where I'm at and I can generally go for a run. Maybe I can go to a school campus and go run on the track. I love that you don't require anything but you and shoes and of course clothes. Next up is this perfect me time and it can also help cope with stress, kind of like I touched on. Guys, nothing clears my mind more than when I go for a run. Sometimes if I'm feeling frustrated and lately I have been feeling frustrated, what do I do? I go for a run. I go alone, I pop in some music, maybe I don't even listen to music, but it's fantastic me time. That even goes along with walking. But honestly, how I really relate to myself and really spend time with myself is doing some sort of physical activity. That's different for everybody. Some is lounging, some is reading a book, some is journaling. When I can see the power that I have and when I can really almost bond with myself and like, oh my gosh, you beat your mile time. This sounds so weird, I'm like talking in third person. But honestly, it is just a way that I bond and spend time and I feel more connected than ever when I go for a run. I can hear my aches, I can hear my pains, I can hear my accomplishments, I can hear my real thoughts. Especially if I don't have music, I just truly am talking to myself the entire time and I don't know how else to describe it, but I love it. So next time you go for a run, think of it as spending time with yourself. Last but certainly not least is you can enjoy nature. And of course, depending on where we are, I know it's winter, we can't always run outside, but if you can, if you have the chance, if you can bundle up, I am just someone that's a big nature gal. Living in New York, I realized how much I needed nature around me and how much I feel connected when I'm with nature. And it brings me pure joy. So to be able to go get out, get active, go for a run with myself and just see the scenery is amazing. Even if you're traveling and it's safe, of course, if it's a safe area, do your research, but go for a run. Maybe bond, go with a run, go for a run with your friend on vacation, whatever it is. But there's something about getting outside and exercising that's just like, it's my jam. Call that nerdy, but it is my jam, okay? I hope you liked this short video. Let me know if you want more. Maybe you want a running series. I'm more than happy to document it. I'm thinking about doing a marathon. I was training in the past, and then with COVID, we never ran one. So comment down below your thoughts. Comment down below why you love to run or your thoughts on running in general. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will see you next time.